Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica. Today I am going to try out some new things from Revolution. I order, I didn't order that much actually. I just have three things here uh, in front of me, but the most exciting thing, maybe the, no, I have two exciting things to try out. I have this uh, little palette here. They came out with, Revolution Pro came out with uh, these quads with this beautiful packaging and I wanted to uh, pick up one of these quads. So I picked up this So Jaded quad and it looks like this inside. So you have a quad of, uh, I think it's two mattes and one shimmer and I don't know if this is a satin but it's not a uh, math anyway. So I'm going to try out this uh, palette and I'm also going to try the new CC Perfecting Foundation. I have mine in F0.5 <laughs> and yeah it looks really really pink but hopefully it will look good. And then I also picked up this and this is the Renaissance Flick. It's just a felt tip liner looks like that. It's very very black. I am excited to try this one as well. So I just think I am going to zoom you guys in. So let's start with the foundation. So this is a CC Cream Perfecting Foundation with SPF 30. Uh, it comes in a package like this. This looks so so pink. I actually took the shade F0.5 and that is supposed to be, if I don't mistaken, it was supposed to be um, like a light uh, with a golden undertone but <laughs> it looks really really pink uh, but yeah we'll see how this is going this is um, full coverage moisture rich CC foundation with SPF 30 a high pigmented yet light moisturizing foundation so this is supposed to be full coverage. I was very interested in trying this because it has SPF 30. I have been enjoying this one uh, lately and this is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. And this is like a medium coverage, but you can build it up. But I don't mind like a medium coverage. I actually like when my freckles is picking through. So I have been enjoying this because this is SPF 50, but I wanted to try this one and this is SPF 30 and I'm very happy if it's not like full coverage actually but it's supposed to be moisturizing and all so let's just try it and let's see how this is going um, with the shade and all because this can be a little too oh this looks really really pale and pink guys how can it say like how can this one say gold, like a gold undertone? So this is how much I took, but let's just, okay, this is so pale. Did I get the wrong shade here? Oh no. I was supposed to get number five. Did I get the wrong shade? Oh my God, I look like a, I look like a ghost. This is even worse than my other foundation. Oh no. Okay, this is not good. I think I ordered, actually, <laughs> I didn't order this one though. Oh my God. This is so pale. Okay, this is crazy. This is, I need to look this up while I'm talking to you guys. What did I get? I have no idea. Did I get the wrong shade? I might have. Yeah. Oh no. I got the wrong shade. I got the fair. No. Okay, now I look like a ghost because this <laughs> is not my shade. Okay, I got, I ordered number five for light skin tone with golden undertone. But I got this one and this is F0.5 for fair skin tone with a pink undertone. Well, yeah, uh, I definitely got the wrong shade. I am going to contact um, 
um, revolution because yeah this is totally crazy look how this i mean i can't i can't look like this i look like a ghost this is the wrong shade definitely but <laughs> let me see how it looks um i don't know about this Ooh, it doesn't look good guys i don't like it it feels like maybe it's because it's the wrong shade but i mean no well, okay i need to use this one i need <laughs> to have like a darker shade i'm gonna take this one this is my like foundation that i mix when i have a to like fair or light foundation so this is the la girl pro coverage uh, the illuminating foundation and this is um quite dark but we can <laughs> we can mix this with this oh my god with this pinkish pinkish mess here oh my god okay i'm not i'm not going to be able to oh my god God. to do like a review on this or a first impression I mean come on this is not good <laughs> this looks cakey AF okay this doesn't look good at all I'm so disappointed this is not good guys <laughs> well okay let's move on guys let's just i'm gonna speed you through uh with all of these things and yeah i can just do this silence and we get back and do the eyes with this one because i am very excited about that one So guys, now I have speed you through all the <laughs> makeup I have done on my face. Uh, I totally forgot this one is uh, 10 British pounds and let's dig into this one. This one is 10 British pounds as well and as I said, you get four shadows in this one and this is in the shade So Jaded, so it's the green quad. And just the packaging are super beautiful with all these stones on it. It's really, really pretty. Uh, but yeah, I am <laughs> going to do a look with this, as I said. So maybe I should zoom you guys in a little bit more. So maybe this is good. Uh, I am going to start with this matte shade. And I can feel a really would love oh my god that was pigmented guys um i think i'm gonna do oh my god oh my god okay now i messed this up totally and i already done my base <laughs> oh jeez maybe i can just like wipe a little bit of that shadow away because i went too far out and it's a lot of kick up here in the pan i don't know if you can see here but it is very very pigmented so i will try to be a little more careful here i am a little bit afraid of this i am going to cut the crease as well but oh my god <laughs> this is pigmented maybe i was a little bit too I took too much, maybe. 
I'm gonna do the other eye as well and see how this I have a little bit of fallout here but I will try to be careful <laughs> to not mess this up this is this is so pigmented it's green but it is a very beautiful color though as you can see feels like it's very very soft I really need to blend these edges <laughs> somehow let's just try to blend this a little bit I will just take a clean brush like that and then just scratching the edges a little bit here because we don't have that's what I was trying to say before I would love to maybe because I think these two are very very similar if we just put out this one and put in like a light like a lighter shimmer <laughs> maybe like a green shimmer like a lighter one that would be nice or lighter matte or something I will swatch these as well but I think they blend really nice if you just take your time here and, and just try to blend as you can see, blend it a little bit here. So it feels like it is very, very soft. And that actually makes it easy to blend, kind of blend itself. No, it's not blending itself, but maybe you know what I mean when it, like it's easy to blend out these edges, but I don't know about this shape. Anyways, I'm just gonna try to do this. Well, is this good enough maybe? Maybe it has to be like that. Maybe I should do the lower lash line because we don't have so much options here. So I'm going to take this matte green as well and just smoke it out like that. I really like the green color, so I think it's pretty. But beware with your base if you have done that first. I'm going to like smoke this out again. I really think it's it's easy to blend out. Uh, I can really feel that. Okay, don't come for me. This this shape though, <laughs> it's not the best. So I am going to pack. Some more here. This green. Just to deepen this up a little bit more. Just like so. And, and now I'm gonna cut the lid, guys. So I'm gonna take my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in the shade Illustrate and I'm going to cut the lid. And we are going to put the shimmer, like the light shimmer, on the lid. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, I messed it up a little bit here, but I am going to fix that later on. <laughs> we'll see how that will look. Let's just dig into this shimmer. So I am planning to take this one on my lid and actually also this one but in the outer part so let's grab a brush and we'll see how this will perform so i'm just gonna okay this is <laughs> this is not picking up at all i think oh it's very glittery i'm gonna i'm gonna go in with my finger and just Okay, this is very like uh, how can I put it like very flaky. Maybe you should now I'm messing it all up here. <laughs> my cut crease with my big fingers here. Okay, I don't like this shadow. Mm -mm. This is dry. Okay, this is so dry. I don't know if you can see, but it feels like... It's 
this like a disaster video like the foundation and this eyeshadow palette my lid looks very dry all the wrinkles on my lid you can see every wrinkle that's how dry it is i um mm -mm. okay um it's a pretty color though but i don't like it how am i supposed maybe i need like a brush like this i will try to get something up here it's very very flaky i think you will need a glitter glue with this one definitely something like that okay yeah i hope you can see how flaky it looks it doesn't look good at all i'm gonna put some really hard to get in there when you have like a cut crease it's really need to do the detail work with a brush maybe i should go in with this one now <laughs> i'm going in with this one i'm gonna take this in the main corner just to see what kind of color is this is this like a bone color like a white kind of but it's a matte one i don't know about that either i am going in with this one now hopefully this one is better um with a brush so we can save this look yeah this picks up a lot on the brush actually so maybe i have to be a little careful this is almost like the same shade the other one. Oh my god, this was not easy at all. But maybe I can say this. So I'm just tapping where they meet because that looks really pretty. These colors together, like. I actually like the green with this like rosy color but I don't know about this this feels a little bit messy here <laughs> it really does but I will oh, I don't know this is not a good makeup day for me I think how does it look now Maybe I have to be happy with how this looks. Maybe this have to be the finished look or I'm going to take like this really flat brush and take that dark, dark matte green and just place it very close to my lash line. So yeah, I think I have to be happy with how this looks. I need something in my like inner corner, but I am going to grab something else. But I need to try this one though, this flick or something. Um, it's a felt tip liner and this is five British pounds. And it's supposed to be very, very black. And yeah, it is. It's very black and I like these kinds of felt tip liners because oh it's very easy to do like a wing because it's so steady um, but also very very pointy now I'm probably going to mess up this too because why not <laughs> because this is a kind of disaster video like everything goes wrong but I really like that this one is good really like this one so I'm gonna do 
I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'm also going to put something in my waterline. I'm going to put some lashes, some mascara and something on my lips and I'll be right back guys. So guys, now I'm back and here comes the finished look. So yeah, I put something on my lips. I put this um, liquid lipstick from Vicon. It's an Italian brand and this is the long lasting liquid lipstick. This shade is kind of like my lips but better and I think this is in the shade 76. Um, couldn't find like a shade name but uh, I put something in my inner corner as well. You can see that. Uh, I actually put one of my Cleonad stained glass collection and it's this shade right here this like iridescent um, shade <laughs> and it's uh, the shade reflectance and I also put these lashes these are my favorite ones and in my waterline I put this one from Vicon as well and this is in the shade uh, jade green uh, just in my waterline let's talk about these products I actually like the finished look of this I look. I really like that this is kind of my skin tone but it's a shimmer like a pinky my skin tone I don't know uh, what kind of color this is but it actually is very pretty I am going to swatch these as well I totally forgot to do that uh, first but I am going to swatch these so I can swatch them first for you and then I'm gonna give you a close-up so this is just like a milky light shade and for me it's kind of my skin tone and this is the flaky one I have you can see it's like a rose gold shimmer like a rosy one and this is the matte this is so so soft and this one I like actually these are horrible swatches <laughs> and this is like the shimmer the green shimmer or satin i would say here you have them and i'm gonna give you a little close-up of these four shades so as i said i actually really like this look and i i think it looks pretty but uh, the performance, <laughs> I didn't yeah, use this in my inner corner just to see how it looks. But I mean, you can't see it on my skin tone anyway. So maybe on a deeper skin tone, it will show. Uh, but I really like this shade, actually. Uh, it was the darkest matte. It was very easy, to, very pigmented and very easy to blend out the edges. So yeah. I just think that works actually really nice. This one was good as well, but I think these are too similar. Um, but it's nothing wrong with this shade either. This shade, however, <laughs> this shade, <laughs> this is not good. Um, I had a really hard time. I mean, you could see I couldn't get it up on the brush. I had to take my fingers. It felt very, very dry and flaky and it wasn't opaque. I really struggled i don't think it's opaque right now either um so maybe this is kind of a topper shade but you don't have any shade here to top it with maybe this but you will have it would be it would be better to have like a shimmer and then in top you can put this one i don't know but i really love the packaging i am a sucker for packaging if you didn't know so <laughs> i'm really happy i have this one but let's talk about this one I actually looked it up um, and I did order this shade. So it was not Revolution that did something wrong. I ordered the wrong shade. I was supposed to order five, number five, F5, and I ordered F1.5. So like uh, for fair skin and pink. And I hate when it looks pink on me and I hate when it's too pale for me as well. So this was like, not a match in heaven, but it was my fault. So, I mean, I, I'm i going to blame myself. I don't know if I'm going to pick up my uh, the, the shade I that is for me, the F5. I think I have to try this more, but I have to uh, blend it out with this one to get it to work uh, like shade, 
shade match um, but I don't know because I have this one and I really like this one and this is too pale for me as well I don't know if you can see like I yeah this is like pink but this is like pale and yellow so I don't know what happened there but uh, I need to um, need to try it more before I say anything if I just look up close um, I can see my forehead here I mean something happens with some kind of foundations on me it looks very kiki but also like I can smear it like I can do like this and it goes away and then you can see like dots of my skin underneath so it looks like a really not flaky but it looks you can see it's not even and it kind of is like that with this foundation and you can see every pore and every like wrinkle I have you can definitely see that it has sank into that so I don't know if I like this um, I have a feeling I have a foundation that like behave like this foundation do um, and I don't like that but I will see I will see maybe if I start to love this one I will pick up the right shade but if not I'm just gonna finish this up and yeah maybe this is not for me but however however this one though this one was really 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 good I mean this is so so black it was very very like easy to do a wing I really like this one so this one is like that I bought this one as well but I mean I have had this one before but in the black bottle this is the revolution base fix uh, makeup fixing spray just says that so I'm just gonna Oh my god that is an aggressive like spritz <laughs> I can really feel and the smell oh no it smells like um, uh, bath houses do you say bath house I don't know but okay not the best like uh, scent uh, on this spray but and not the best spritz I actually bought this to spray my shadows because my other one is out anyways guys <laughs> I don't know this was kind of like a disaster video not a disaster but a few things here went wrong I feel like but maybe I mean the finished look is very very pretty what do you think tell me down below do you like this look uh, do you want to get these uh, quads I mean how pretty are they but I mean you shouldn't buy anything just for the packaging <laughs> obviously I think this is it if you if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, then I know. And if you're new here, I would be super happy if you would consider to subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button down below and click on the notification bell. And I upload Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So yeah, I really hope I see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.